Hello, welcome to Panting of the Geek. You join us for an unboxing video and the start of the Tale of Two Gamers, which we've been talking about on the channel mm -hmm. in a couple of videos. Yeah. So basically, we're going to both start with a starter set. We're going to unbox it like we are today, and then we're going to probably paint it and do a, paint, a quick painting guide for whichever ones we choose to do. And then we're probably going to have a battle with the starter set and then escalate to a thousand points using the pitch battle rules for Age of Sigma in the General's Handbook. Mm -hmm. So. So this is part one, and this is my army, the Iron Jaws. So I'm going to be unboxing these today with Klaus' help. Yeah. And so <laughs> what's yeah? So this is the starter set. It's not new. It's it's, well, it's fairly new. But it's, it's not it's not been out in the last few weeks. It's been out for a little while. I think a couple of months. Mm. When May it came out. Something like that. When when they started bringing the box sets out, wasn't it? It's actually packed with stuff. It's not even closing. I mean, this is fifty English pounds if you're in England, uh, whatever the equivalent is. Um. And these three guys, the Gore, is it Gore Grunters? Go, go, go. Still not sure on all the names yet. <laughs> Gore Grunters um, are forty-eight pounds. Mm -hmm. So basically, I'm paying two pounds for ten orcs and uh, another orc war chanter. I think we worked it out that it should have come to near enough hundred quid. Or yeah, because they're thirty-two, so that'd be thirty quid, and he's eighteen fifty. So you're saving forty-eight pounds fifty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, it's, which is nearly the price of the box, so yeah. It's yeah, so for a start nearly half set, price. Nearly half price. So to be fair, it's a really good idea what we're doing I like with the, the £50 pound box sets of Brill. I like the start sets yeah. a lot. I hope we keep doing them and I hope they do some more and I hope they like even maybe even add on. Like, 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 it's, like it's a start with the, maybe uh, a continue collecting set where it's got another fifty another hundred pounds worth of yeah. models, fifty pounds. That'd be pretty cool. They've started doing the add-on sets with the um Stormcast so haven't they in the uh Yeah, I did Blood notice that. Blood didn't Blood notice that, yeah. yeah. So anyway, these guys, let's get it. Hey, Angels. 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 Angels, I went to box. Oh, right. Right. Get it right, I'll work. Alright, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what would be box to me? <laughs> There we go. Okay. So apart from a random rubber band, which is in there. Uh, <laughs> James Workshop, you've lost a rubber band. If, if you want it back. If you want it back, we've got it. <laughs> I'll, I'll exchange it for a Ford World Titan. <laughs> Warlord. Um, maybe that means I've won one. Does it say anything like no? I'm you um, won a Warlord Titan. Yay! I'll do. I wish. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got the little manuals in here, we've got the... Uh, oh, they're in colour. These ones are in colour, yeah. Excellent. Because I think these ones are newer. Mm. So there's all the info in there. I've got the... the gore grunters up there. The two different types of weapon they can have. Mm. There we have our part of the war caster. Chanter even. And there's the other part. There is one of the gore grunters. Those things are huge. I didn't realise quite how big they were. Absolutely huge. There's the other two. That explains why they're so expensive. Uh, and then here are the hard boys. I've got bits in. I was just thinking I'm sure there's meant to be more. Yeah, that's the size of the base of the game. Wow. Uh, yeah. And we've got that's the old watch answer. This is the bit that goes into the blister pack. Yeah. yeah. And then your battle. The team. Orc Smasher Boys. So when you have everything in this box set, you get the smash them. Fired up by the War Chanter's Smasher Boys. are always up for a good fight. You can add plus one to all hit rolls made by for the Smasher Boys units in the combat phase while they're in tensions of the War Chanter. Not that the War Chanter also uses the Frenzy of Violence ability. So this means it would add two to the yeah. So the war chances on ability is to do that anyway. So it actually stacks. So it adds two to the hit. Whoa, <laughs> that's pretty good actually. I like that. Okay, so that is the sort of battalion rules. The, that's like your war scroll, your battalion, uh, in various languages, obviously. And it's got the next steps on the back of other stuff you can collect. Oh yeah, for the faction. So, gotta get one of them. <laughs> and uh, probably a shaman as well, I think. But we'll see that we'll come after the battle. We'll decide what we're going to get in the escalation stage. Anyway, so we're at right the building stage, if we will. So where do we want to start? Um, I'm not going to show you the war chanter on the video because if you go back and have a look at our Warhammer quest, one, they've already got a war chanter. Mm -hmm. It's the only oracle I've got, 
Uh, if you go back and have a look, you'll see how that was built anyway. So I won't show you that one on camera. But the other two sets, I haven't shown on camera, so I've got them mm -hmm. until now. So we'll start with the bores. Bores? Right. Bores. Do you want to put that with them then? We should start with the bores. Mm -hmm. The Oric Gore Grunters. Oric Gore Grunters. Here we go. So there's two types of weapon we can have. Uh, I don't know why that is in here. Pretty much just a simple arm sort of pig iron chopper or a jagged gore hacker. <laughs> so bigger a pig iron chopper I think gives them a better chance to hit. Or you can have the range of the gore hacker. And the gore hacker looks cooler. Is that the uh, one that looks like a spear? Kind of thing. Yeah, the go hack is like, like the spear, it's a 4 plus yeah. to hit and a 3 plus to wound. Mm. Whereas the pig iron is a 3 and a 3, so it's a better chance to hit with a pig iron chopper. However, if they're using the world chance rules, obviously they're getting plus 1, maybe even 2 to hit. Mm. Uh, the advantage of the hackers is they've got an inch extra range on them. Um, now, considering the, the gores do 4 damage, 4 attacks even, hit on 4s and 4s. They might have actually more down stuff for you to attack. Interesting. It's a lot of attacks. <laughs> cool. Right, I think I'm gonna. I want to use. I want to use the things on on the art on the box. The. Uh, I'm gonna use that, even though that was a good chance to hit. <clears throat> so you're gonna build them. Right? Yeah, with the. Um, the like gore sense. hackers. Yes. Yeah. Build them like that. Okay. okay, so I'll leave that up there and then we can see it. Let's start then. Right. Uh, change the camera angle. There we go, guys. Start. Right, so we got parts one and four and ten. Which will make the side of the body there. And then we've got parts two and nine, which make the other side of the, the body there. So we'll get all those bits off. Okay, so the first three parts, we have part one, which is one side of the, the ball, a massive, massive thingy ball. I don't know if it's a proper ball or a giant chaos mutant ball or whatever it is. And we have the head of it, and we have a hoof, which goes there. So the head just goes on there. And then the hoof side just goes on down here, where the little hole for it to go into. So I'll stick that together. And in the meantime, where can we get my parts two and nine? Okay, so there are the first three bits together. And then we have the other side, which is part two, which is that. Part nine, which is the other part of the hoof. Again, there's a little nodule for that to fit on there. And then once uh, that's together, we need part six and part five. Okay, so there is part two with the hoof on, and then we have part. Uh, is that five? That one. Yeah, that's five. And part six, which parts of this front leg. And again, there's a little nodule there, which shows you where that goes. Put an module there, and then we also need part three as well. And I think um, that's it for that basically. There's part three, which is basically uh, is that a it's like an arm, isn't it, or something? Is it an arm? Is it part of the foot? Weird, I don't it? think it's an arm, is it? Actually, I'm not sure what it is. It's part of the front, front teeth or something like um, a mouth guard or something. Possibly part of the. All oh, right, maybe part of the right. What we'll do, we'll put this bit together, and then we'll find out what it is. <laughs> It'll come clear, I'm sure. Clear. See what's on the other side. So yeah, it already shows the ball together. So I think what it is, actually, I'm we'll looking at the side. If these two bits go together like that, there's a bit of a groove there. I think that's where that goes, like that. It's its front teeth, basically. Ah. There we go. There we go. 
So we've done the trigger end together, so I thought, well, which side is it going? No, it fills that bit in the front. So we'll get the, the bore together for the gore grunter. Okay, so that's where we're up to. Got that front part on. So next up we have the other leg, which is seven and eight. We also have a choice of three asses for the uh, for the go thing you do, go bore. Um, so there's three we've chosen. Which one did you choose? Um, um, on the hoop on the end, about 33. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we've got a choice of three backs for the orc. There's not much in it really. Which one was this one? one with the 36. On. 36. So it was those ones. So they just get attached where there's these big holes. The other leg goes on there. And we'll be back in a second. Okay, so this is where we're up to now. Quite quickly it's coming together actually. Mm. Um, this thing looks amazing actually. I really like this model. It looks massive. Cool. Yeah, it looks terrifying, it's brilliant. Um, next up we have the straps which go into these grooves there. We've got 40 and 39. Uh, 40 goes on this side. Which one was 40? Uh, Do that one. Yeah, I think so. Goes uh, that one. Goes that way up and fits into that groove there. It's just like a leather strap with a buckle, and that one goes to the other side. And then we have uh, the ox arm, which is part 45, which will go on there. And, and we have 72. the other part of his, it's part of the ox front armour, which will just stick on around about there. So, we should get those bits on. Okay, so this is where we're up to now. So next up, we're going to, need to put the front arm plates onto the uh, the bore thing. That is part 48. That is part 49, which will go on this side. Oops. There are little uh, circular grooves in there which match the circular bit on there, so we'll match them up. And then next is the orc head. Chosen orc head 98. It's got a little eye patch. Looks like a pirate. Which goes on to the next sort of like thing on what colour I'm going to paint these. The one I have done is painted in these. Is this the bone? Is it stone? Stone. Stone. I can't remember what's on it. Yeah, it's, it's in a, like a bone colour. A bone coloured and red yeah. colour. Now I might just leave that as a colour just to have a, a different for my Warhammer Quest guy. These guys I might paint a different colour. And I'm leaning towards either blue, orange, or silver, the uh, iron colour for the sky bashes. So. In that mind, I'm actually going to, that's why I've picked the eye patch because I might pick the sky bashes because they're kind of like orc pirates because they float around on big flying orcs, hulk type things, not spaceship, but like I imagine some sort of scrappy airship. Mm -hmm. So I think I might go for them. If anyone has any strong um, opinion on which way I should go with the paint jobs for these guys, I'm not going to go yellow, I'm not going to go um, red because those are the main colours of my 40k orcs and I want to do something different so they're out I don't want to go black because it's it's a bit boring some of the colour schemes in black for me anyway other people enjoy black people who like goths I don't particularly like the goth orc colour scheme I have painted some in the past as you'll have seen but I've left it with the uh, the box set that came in the, mm. which one was it the uh, um, storm claw was it something like that something yeah we're, we're kind of, they're all storm or death one of those two <laughs> Deathclaw, wasn't it? Storm Deathclaw yeah. mask. Yeah. <laughs> Storm Deathclaw mask, whatever. Um, the ones with the space wolves and the orcs. Yes. Yes. Yeah. That's the one. So I painted them in goth colours because that's the colour they came in. And they're all right, but I wouldn't want to do a whole army in, in that colour. Um, so I, I've kind of narrowed it down to those three. Either blue, even though I do have some blue 40k orcs as well, but I do like the blue colour. Uh, or the orange because it's completely out there. Uh, gonna like that, but I think law wise, I'm, I'm more drawing towards the sky bashes, even though it's not the most colourful of, of the three I'm thinking of. So at the moment, I might be drawn towards that. But if anyone has any opinions on what they think I should do from those three, or maybe even something else, please put it in the comments. I'm quite happy to read that and, and see what you guys think. Anyway, I'll be sticking this together. So I'm gonna put these three parts on and then we're back because this is the Go Grunter boss, isn't it? Yes. So we can be getting part 81 off because I'm going to be sticking the jagged gore hackers on these guys. Okay, so here we are. So the next stage is the jagged gore hacker, which is huge. 
that goes on the other arm. Then the stage further down we've got the back part of the orc, or the armoured top part of the orc shall we say, which goes on that final gap that's there. There's a little circular slot in that, that's for the hair plume to go into. So that fits into there, which I'm quite glad of, rather than trying to stick that onto his head. <laughs> that's pretty good. And then the boar itself has this like skull uh, mask kind of thing going mm. on here. This metal skull mask, which goes on in two parts, that side. And then we have that side, like that. He does say in the instructions to uh, fit those two bits together, but that's going to be pretty difficult. So you may as well just try and fit it all to the head at the same time, <laughs> to be fair. Um, so I'll probably just put some glue on the head and match it up on the bore itself rather than trying to fit those two bits together. So, when we've done that, we should be at the end of this page. And then I shall see you in a second. Okay, so this is where we're up to. So it's just got the final part, which is the shoulder pads, which is 54 and 55, uh, which go obviously on the shoulders. And then we have some optional pieces. So we have um, optional decoration for the sides of the bow, you don't have to put them on. Optional decoration to go onto the plume there. So I'm actually going to use the one that looks most like a pirate skull and crossbones that I could see, which is that one, uh, to put on the plume. And then optional dagger. Um, where's that one going? Uh, What's that? You got it? <laughs> yeah, 77 is there. So we're going to put this nasty looking dagger on as well. And then the boss should be finished. So we'll see you in a second. So there is the completed uh, boss. That's an awesome model. It is. He's really nasty looking. I really like it. It's huge. <laughs> Just judge. Yeah. Yeah, terrifying. I like that. Yeah. That's pretty funky. So next up we have, I think it's a, it's going to be a normal guy now isn't it? Yeah. Go run to A, in fact. Mm. So we have part 12, 41 and 20, which make up the right hand side. Then we have parts 42, 11, 21, 16 and 17 which make up the foot which make up the left hand side then those two sides get stuck together then we have parts 13 which will make up the other part of the head part 15 which is probably going to be the bit that goes into the middle mm. like we had before to, to block that up so that's stage that's like stage one if you will stage a and b together so that's a and b it says two there i don't know why it says two it must just be the number of the model ones isn't it yeah um so 2A, 2B, we'll get those bits together, we'll stick it all together uh, up to that point because it looks a lot like the other one, it shows you where the leather straps go and stuff. Uh, and then we'll be back in a minute. Okay, so we're back. After a little bit of a struggle, um, the ears for the boar are really awkward and unnecessary <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Why those bits have to be separate, I do not know. Um, but you'll have to put them on if you're putting this together while you're putting the head on. I actually stuck it to this side, the, this bit here, part 13, and then wedged it into the other part because I couldn't get it to go on the other way. And you can't put it on afterwards because it just does not fit in at all. Mm -hmm. So I stuck um, part 15 to actually to part 13. We'll let that dry and then wedged it in. And it still came a bit loose, but it's gone in now. That's the main thing. Um, so next up we have parts, again, the choice of bore butt. And then the choice of walk back. So. back. <laughs> Sounds like some place in Australia. Yeah, the walk back. Uh, Streets, mate. Um, 18 is there and 19 is there, which is the other leg for the boar. So we'll put all those parts on and then we'll be back. Okay, so that's where we're up to. So next up we need to put part 70, which is the jagged gore hacker. Part 14 which is a lower jaw of teeth and tongue should we say of the uh, the boar thing. Part 73 which is the front part of the armour. Part 46 which is the arm and then on this side we've got one of the plumes for the head. We've got the back of the, well the top back of the orc's armour and where the plume goes in and I chose head 99 because mm -hmm. he also a bit scarred because he's missing part of an ear. Um, so we'll stick those parts on and then we'll be back. Okay. So this is where we're up to. 
just the malice in that thing's face. It's just like amazing. And the orcs. You'd be absolutely terrified if that was mm. charging. I would anyway. Yeah, if that was charging at you. I think I'd poo my pants. <laughs> um, so we've got uh, part 50, part 51, part 56, and part 57, which all make up the shoulder pads and the boar's shoulder pads. Uh, we have part 83, which is a tooth. There's actually a hole there for a tooth. And part 82, which I presume is another tooth. Because there's two holes in that part 14 that we put on. If you can see them on there. Uh, so we'll put all these bits on. I'll let you know if there's any problems. And then we'll move on to the next page. Which is, looks like the last part of this model anyway. So we'll be back in a minute. And there he is finished. They are looking so awesome. They are the massive. <laughs> I can see we get more of these actually. Yeah. Like I said, it's only two pound different to buy another starter set. So well, if I do yeah. get some more, I might just get another starter set. Yeah. Just to get the other ten orcs as well. <laughs> anyway, um, Gorg Runters. Here we are. This is the last one of the three. So we have parts, where are we? 22, 32, uh, 29, 30, 43. And on the other side, what have we got here? 23, 44. 31, which are all on there as well. And those bits all go together along with part 24 and uh, probably another annoying ear section, which is part 26. Like so I'll try again, stick that bit onto the yeah. and put it together. Um, and then we've got the last of the boar butts yeah. and the last of the orc backs, <laughs> along with part 27 and part 28, which make up the last of the legs. So because we've pretty much done it twice already, we'll just put it all together, get to the end of this page, and if there's any problems other than the ears, I'll be back with you in between. Okay, so there we go. So that's where we're up to. Again, the ears are a bit of a pig to put on. No pun intended. I don't have to think that one through. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, um, next up we have part 71, 74, 25, 47. The last of the plumes, one of the heads, part 62, which is the back plate. And then down here we've got 52 and 53, which are the shoulders for the ball, uh, 85 and 84, which are the teeth, like the previous one, which will go into part 25. And then we've got part 58 and 59, which will be the shoulder pads for the orc itself. And finally, all the optional extras, just as before. So I shall pick one of these. Uh, they've got the last of the daggers and the last of the little icons to put on. So when we come back, he should be finished. So there is the last of the three Gorg Runters. They're very cool models, I do like mm. them. I might get some more, and if I do, I may as well get another starter set. Yeah. So it's like £2 more for a bunch of other stuff. Right, speaking of a bunch of other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> There we go, that's what's next. We've got the Iron Joes, Orok Ard Boys. <clears throat> so I don't think these are new models as such, but we've never shown them on the channel, so mm -hmm. we will put these together. Mm -hmm. But they are pretty straightforward because it's basically you take a body and legs, put them together, put arms on them, done. Orc, standard bearer, same thing. Take the standard bearer parts, drummer, same thing. And then Orok Ard Boys again. Though. So that's the rules for putting them together. It's a bit like when you put space marines together, you know, they're just like multi part kits, I imagine. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have this one there, this one there, we have this one there, and this sprue there. So there's like two banners and stuff, so there's just duplicates of things. Just so I suppose so you can get enough parts. So what we'll do, like we do with Space Marines, we'll put them together, rather than going through them stage by stage on each model, put them together as a horde, or a group, or a squad. Mm -hmm. So we'll just cut off all the legs, and we'll cut off all the bodies, and we'll just stick them together as we feel like, basically. Uh, just remembering to use the Orc one for the bots, if there's a separate one. Uh, we've got four on there, four on there. There's one there, isn't there? There's the one there. Yeah, cool. 
Right, so we'll just cut all these parts off basically. Um, and we'll come back when we've put the legs and the bodies together. Okay, so those are the bodies and the legs put together. There are actually letters on there. There's E, A, B, C, D, E on there, and the letters correspond to the body, so you do have to put them on like that. Mm -hmm. But now after that, there is no other letters on the sprues. Nope. So it's pretty much uh, wherever we want to put things. So mm -hmm. arms and heads. And on this set, I'm going to go for two-handed weapons. I think that's cool. They get the extra render uh, minus one on there. So... Other than doing the, just using the banner, which one do we want? The banner or the icon? It's up to you. Do you want me to cut plus, both off and then you can have a look at them? Plus two bravery for the banner. Or I get to roll every time an orc runs away and on the six they don't run away. That seems a bit weak. I do like the look of the icon though. It is cool. I think I'll take the banner though, to be fair. I think we're going to go banner. Have you got them cut off though? Yeah. Yeah. Because you get two in the box. That, so that's the icon, which does look cool. It certainly looks cool. Maybe on the next box set you get, you can do a, an icon one. Maybe. That's a good idea. Mix it up a bit. And that's the banner, which is also cool. Do you like it? Yeah. Right, so we're going to finish these off, I'm going to put them together and then we can have a look at how we put them, uh, what they look like at the end. So there we go, that's uh, the Orc Hard Boys finished. There isn't enough uh, 200 weapons to give them all 200 weapons. So I've given four of them handed weapons, three of them have got 200 weapons. The boss kind of got his choice because that's like a 200 weapon on another single handed weapon. And the other guys have just got single handed weapons. Mm -hmm. So... Um, if I did get another set, obviously I could make more two hundred weapons. I've kept all of the spares, yeah. the bits as usual, into my bits box in case I uh, get some more of these guys. And then I think I have one squad all with two hundred weapons and such. But in this case, it's mixed, and the rules say you can mix it because they are mixed units. So there we go. That's the hard boys. So we'll have a look at everything that was in the box. So there we go. That's all the orcs in the set. Ten hard boys, three gore. Um, dudes, god hunters, that's it. <laughs> and there's the uh, the war chanter at the front, at the back there we've got the uh, the Iron Jaws Smasher Boys and their rules. There we go. So the only difference on this guy is that if you have a look on the shoulder pad, you can see I've used one of the gore um, grunters, one of these side bits, on his shoulder instead of the, the normal one. I think I've got the other one somewhere. Yeah, so here's a painted one that you may have seen from the video, but uh, you should have a little skull like that on his shoulder. Whereas instead, I've used the one that looks like a plague bearer. That's the only difference I've made with that. Obviously, this guy's painted in Bowman red. I'm thinking I might do this, the sky bashers, kind of see them as sort of like pirates, orc pirates kind of thing going yeah. on, kind of theme. That's what I'm saying, yeah. anyway. Or pirate slash raiders. Excellent. That's what I'm thinking anyway. But if anyone has any ideas, please put in the comments. I'm not painting them just yet. Um, I will be painting them soon though. So probably by next week I'll start painting them. So if you have any comments in now, like, no, please do the orange ones because they look cool. Or please do the blue ones because they're awesome because the leader's dead and his, his head's being carried on the pole. Or something like that. <laughs> put, put me the reasoning why you'd like to see that. And I might, just remind, because I'm still, I'm, as much as I want to do the Sky Bashers, because of the like, Sky Pirates, I still like the other colour schemes. Yeah, you're not yeah. sold on the uh, silver, are you? Really? Not also. I it... think once they're painted and they're all the same colour, they, they will look pretty good in, in mm. the lead belcher iron colour. Well, like I said, so you but, can always put um, glyphs on them and stuff. Yeah, I probably kind of will thing, do. You know, I'll probably to, make, to make them, them a bit more unique. Yeah. I probably will do. But there we go. So that's the first phase of our uh, Tale of Two Gamers. I now have my first army constructed. So in the next video, Chloe will be constructing her Sylvaneth. Yay. So she's got the starter box for that. So that's the next video. Mm -hmm. um, so join us for that, please. Uh, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It helps us loads. And hopefully we'll see you again soon, guys. We'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.